Good afternoon, welcome to CGT in Life. I'm Dean Yang in Beijing. Today is our third episode of China Africa Youth Talks, and this is a new program we set up against the backdrop of the upcoming uh, Forum on China Africa Cooperation. And uh, we focus on the ideas and opinions of young people uh, with regard to cultural exchange between China and African countries. Uh, in the first episode, we talked about food without actually presenting any food. I regret about that. And uh, yesterday we dropped a little bit in Beijing Olympic Parks, but uh, we received a lot of complaints from the viewers that while well, they actually were working, but they could they watched us uh, jogging and trying to live in a healthy life. They say that is not that is not fair. They want something stronger. They want to feel what we actually are presenting in the show. And today I can confidently tell you that demand is going to be made, because today we are going to talk about music. But I guarantee you that there won't just be talk. We will show you African music and African dance, and even better, we're going to do it, do it ourselves. But thank God we are not going to do it alone. We have uh, professional people to teach us, to guide us, to, ta- to teach us how to do it properly. So if you feel so hot around your feet, feel free to join the party. Okay. Before the party begins, let me introduce the guest today. But I will leave the introduction to my guests themselves. But before I uh, do that, I will say that it's a lovely environment. As you see, this is a very beautiful, very uh, lovely restaurant. And I'd like to start the introduction from the owner of this restaurant, who are generously enough to let us ruin it. <laughs> Bader, please. Hi, everyone. I'm Bader, hailing from Morocco. And yes, uh, I. Own this lovely Moroccan restaurant in Beijing. I've been here for 14 years. In 14 di- years. 14 years since 2004, during which I've done quite a few things in Name my tenure. Name some, please. Name some for us, please. Uh, I've worked with education. I'm mostly an IT person. Oh. So most of my life, actually, even before coming to China, has been IT in the U.S. and in China. I see. Yesterday in. Uh, programming, databases, upgrades, mainframes. I know that one of your sidelines is music, and apart from owning a restaurant and uh, cooking. Is yes. there any, any, any similarities between programming, writing codes, and the music? Uh, you'd be surprised. Structure. When you code, you need structure, algorithms for the code to be clean. Mm-hmm. Music theory, that's why there's a lot of mathematicians playing music. Music can be related to maths and to science. There is structure to music, mm. scales. A lot of things actually combine. So well, to draw down a little bit on your previous experience as an IT, as an IT uh, person, can you be as wide as, uh, you, while you're playing music as you, you know, writing a um, program for Angry Bird, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> Writing programs makes me an angry bird. <laughs> Playing music generally makes me a happy bird. <laughs> okay, thank you. Good. So let's move on. Our lovely lady, our friend, uh, we talked together about food the day before yesterday. Monty, welcome back. Thank you very much for hosting me again. My name is Monday uh, Ruth Perry. I'm from Zambia. I've been in Beijing for quite some time, like um, almost approaching three years now. I'm a student at Peking University Health Science Center, and I'm so honored to be here again. Thank you, you very much. Can you share with us a little bit of your experience in the field of art? Because I, I know that you're a student in medicine, mm-hmm. and uh, maybe I will ask the same question again. What are the similarities? What are the things that you think are similar to, uh, to each other between uh, your course now and uh, music and the dance? Is there anything? Well, there is actually, there's a link between um, dancing and um, being a student because for you to study, you need to refresh. And I, do, I dance actually for my refreshment and for actually relaxing. So there is that link. Are you against? Because I remember there's a film. It's quite an interesting Marvel studio film about superhero. And uh, its uh, leading character is actually a surgeon. A wonderful surgeon, and he has this little habit of listening to music while he is doing operation. Are you against that? Is that against your <laughs> working <laughs> effort? Um, I'm actually not really against. I would say um, it, 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 it is actually refreshing. It is relaxing. Dancing and music is really relaxing, and 
doing that while doing an operation is just some kind of releasing that stress and just being relaxed while doing it. Okay, my last attempt is to relate your, um, your professional with uh, your interest in art and the dance is that um, do you think you know, playing music to your patients on the operation table would actually help him to relax or help her to relax? Definitely. Mm -hmm. I would say that because that mus the music that will be played would definitely put them in that atmosphere to let them know that everything is going to be fine. It's going to help them relax and release that stress from them and let them know that actually they are, in the way they are on the way of getting held. Mm. Uh, actually, Baidu promised me to play for us certain tunes. And uh, if you're in a medicine student, if you're in a medical school, probably you can draw some uh, uh, you know, inspiration from that music to see if we're going to help to cheer your patients up or to help them to relax. Okay, uh, uh, Chinese lady. Well, my name is Melissa and I am a university student in Beijing and I have lived in Beijing for 20 years because I just born here. Um, and it is my great honor to be here with those friends from Africa and friends from Beijing, just like me, <laughs> and we and I am very happy to come here to exchange our ideas about music. And I think it is really an amazing time. Did yeah. you just write those words down before you came on the show to recite them? Because you feel a little bit nervous. <laughs> yes. Um, you could use some music to relax. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Maybe twinkle, twinkle, little star. Nice, <laughs> to nice. Me. Finish it, finish it. Oh my God, of course. Uh, twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Um, after that, I forget. <laughs> Can you finish it for the, for uh, the lady? I don't know the lyrics, but yeah, good, good singing. <laughs> <laughs> so, sir, who you are? Uh, my name is Wu Jie. I'm also from Beijing. My um, full-time job is about uh, education and communication, and uh, I'm a part-time musician playing bass guitar and the saxophone, which both are uh, Wait important. Wait a minute, you can play bass, guitar, and the saxophone? Yeah. All together, or? Uh, no, uh, <laughs> you mean uh, I play these all together uh, in the same time? Uh, definitely separately. Uh, I'll try that, I'll try that. You can. Guitar, bass, saxophone. Wow. That would wow. be awesome. <laughs> I think these uh, instruments well, that are... Will, that, so that you can form a band on your own. So you don't need any, any partner anymore. Uh, there's a one, one, one band. band, band. Yeah. <laughs> so which is your preferred, which, sorry, which is your favorite instrument? I think um, bass guitar mm -hmm. uh, because it's uh, quite smooth and uh, okay. uh, you can play the high octaves and the lows and mm -hmm. Uh, it's just smooth, and you can also play the uh, slap skill and make it more funky. Mm -hmm. Because uh, uh, bass guitar and the saxophones are very important in modern African music, so I'm quite interested in that. So I went to see uh, some of the uh, musicians from Africa. So that's well, why, without <laughs> me actually knowing it, the lecture has actually begun. <laughs> oh. it, I sense that you've just you've just thrown a lot of uh, musical jargon on us. And uh, I sense that you've known a lot in this field. So can you share with us your opinion, sorry, your impression about African music? What is the thing that you would relate to African style? Well, uh, it, you know that Africa ha is quite large. It has difficult parts: the north, south, east, and west. Uh, the musicians I went to see are basically from the west. Okay. Because uh, I once I. I went to see Sean Kuti. He's the son of Fela Kuti, the Nigerian like legend, legend who uh, created the genre of Afrobeat in 1970s. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's been there's a lot of like modern uh, uh, instrument like guitar, bass, saxophone, drums, and also the traditional like the shakiri, the the, the like. Shakers. Just, the so you, just just to, just to make sure you don't just fool us with uh, with the uh, strange names. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah. Is that correct? So what is it? It's, uh, well, you have a lot of different types of shakers in all over the continent. A shaker is just like the... This. Some of them you hold like this, some of them you actually yeah. use your fingers with. They're also called claquettes. Some of them are actually just dried squash that <laughs> you beat on. Like and, a drum. Uh, like you beat on them and, uh, like a drum, but they have seeds inside, so they create a little shaking sound. Good option to make instruments. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, 
If I ask you, um, sorry, do you have an English name I can address you with? Uh, of course, Melissa. Ah, Melissa. Yeah. Uh, do you, if I ask you to give uh, to give us a few adjective words mm -hmm. to describe your feeling about African music, what would be the first three? Well, I think energetic, um, colorful, and maybe with some implied meaning. That is the third word, implied. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Implied meaning. Implied. Meaning, okay. yeah. energetic. Mm -hmm. Because I think they usually play music and with dance. They when they dance, they they they, they dance to the music. So, and they are very outgoing. So they are not mm -hmm. afraid to perform themselves. So that is why I think they are energetic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Would you agree with me if I say that Chinese people, at least the stereotype goes that Chinese people are generally uh, shy. Shy. To kind of to 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 let the inner feelings out. Would you agree with that? Um, maybe a little bit because I am a little bit like that. Are you actually shy or you're nervous? Mm, yes. Sometimes if I if I most of the time if I come into a different condition, different situation, I will I will be nervous. So there's a wild soul inside you, but that mm -hmm. maybe some Afghan music can let it out. <laughs> <laughs> I will try that. Do you think that Monty? Do you think African music and dance can do that? Yes, definitely it can, because I believe African music or African dance actually, it, it releases the emotions, like mm -hmm. it's one of the dances that you express yourself, it's energetic, and that expression that you're going to give while dancing is really amazing, and especially if you're a person who's shy or someone who gets nervous, just by the beat itself, you definitely dance your shyness away. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I used to be at the... You used to be a shy person, or actually you always this lovely outgoing? I used to be shy actually, but dancing really helped me to be myself, to really express myself the way I would love to be expressed. Mm. Because I've been torturing our two Chinese guests with, with the knowledge and questions about African style, now I'm going to do the opposite, <laughs> just to make it fair. Yeah. Uh, do you think that Chinese, if, if that stereotype still exists about Chinese people being either shy or conservative, do you think that the Chinese movement, dance movement, would actually help you to kind of stay calm or to send some sort of inner peace? Does Chinese dance and the music have that effect on you? Not really. Actually, I got a chance to dance to Chinese dance. Mm -hmm. I would say it's really an amazing dance because it's calm. It's refreshing, it's relaxing, it's less stressful. It's one of the dances that you feel relaxed while dancing. I would say it's really amazing. Which mm. style of dance was that? I'm not very sure, actually. It was, I think, Asian songs. Okay. Yes, I'm not very sure. So you've name. learned how to dance to an Asian song? Um, I tried to learn. <laughs> I will. I will. I'm not, I, I don't want to terrify you or frighten you anyway, but I will bear that knowledge in mind. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because uh, here, this is a bar famous for its all sorts of music equipments and also allowed uh, the speakers, right? We, right, uh, we, we have, have we all have the equipment, yeah, we, have we equipment. need for many things. So that we have the right equipment to transform this place into a club. Absolutely. Uh, okay, so we have all sorts of equipment, but I will stop there. Okay. So how about you, Peter? You've been traveling around in China. What do you feel about Chinese music? And does it in any way affect your uh, performance or your own style? Uh, when we talk about Chinese music, it's like talking about African music. Africa is a continent with so many countries and cultures. Mm. And China is also a big place, a big country with different styles. Um, a lot of the music, in my opinion, and a lot of the dancing is structured. You know, opera, movements, everything is graceful and follow the patterns of the wind and the water. Mm -hmm. I spend more time with the underground side of Chinese music, all the Yaogun side, traveling with Ningxia bands uh, that sing about Yang Ro Mian and <laughs> things like that. In this case, Bu Yi, which is an amazing well, probably band. Probably we need to explain to our viewers what Yang Ro Mian is. Yang Ro Mian is lamb noodles. So, and uh, there's this amazing band who's celebrating their 20th anniversary this year called Bu Yi Yudui. And they, they're, like, they're from Ningxia, which is like the wild, wild west of China. And they have these grungy rock and roll songs about 
all kinds of fun topics and serious topics. But can you imagine a song praising a, a delicacy of food? Why not? Hmm. So music is about life, right? We, t we have songs about lovers, friends, feelings. Why not have a song about food? Great. I... Even in English, you have uh, Jimmy Buffett sang about cheeseburger in paradise. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's exactly what I'm waiting for you to say, because that's going to give me a clue and that actually give me a lead uh -huh. and uh, to um, manipulate you into doing something. I've already seen that you have a few very interesting instruments around you. And uh, as I've already promised our viewers, this time they're going to have some deadly stronger feeling about this live stream. Would you like to be the beginner or the first person to put that be okay. for that viewers? I don't mind at all, but as you put me on the spot, I'm going to put everybody on the spot with me. Well, I would, I would, love, I would love to cooperate. <laughs> Try me. Yeah. So I'm actually going to do a song for you guys, and I need your help, because a lot of the songs I do in my band mm -hmm. are, fr are tribal songs. Tribal so, song. Think about campfire, a lot of people at night hanging out, and it's cold. We don't have heaters at that time, so 100 years ago, 200 years ago. So it's an older version of picnic. Yeah, you can think of it that way. <laughs> Barbecue something, and then everybody starts clapping. Okay. So drums and percussion are very much essential in African music, whether it's from North Africa, my region, Central Africa, West Africa, or South Africa, all over. We have this percussion, the beat. The heartbeat. Everything is about beats, and you can literally have a band with just drums and percussions. You start banging, and everybody's clapping, and you make a party out of it. Hmm. If it's just the clapping you're asking us to do, that's well, pretty simple. It's clapping and singing. I'm going to teach you guys a, minute, a little wait bit. Wait a minute, there's a bit about singing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you, you want us to sing with you. Absolutely. In, in, in Chinese or English? Neither Chinese nor English. We're going to sing in Arabic. Is that possible? Because yes. I, 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 can, I cannot speak Arabic, I mean, unfortunately, but... I'm going to teach you Arabic, and you're going to be... So, because a lot of these songs that we have, at least from the North African side, are call and answer. Mm -hmm. I say one thing, and you give me an answer to it. So it's like... Da -da -da -da, Allah, Allah, Ya Baba, Slam Alik, Ya Baba. So for this song, I need you guys to say, Ya Baba. Ya, ya Baba. Baba. What does it mean? Oh, Dad. Baba. <laughs> Baba is universally the same word, so it's... Sorry, I'm overthinking. Let me get this clear. Uh, Are you asking us to call you Dad? No. No. We're, it's a chant, so okay. we're chanting in the name of our dads. Like and Dad, re the, in, in the context of the song, Dad represents a lot of things. Okay, so it's not just a song to praise our fathers. It can be. It can be to praise it's, it's, a lot of it's, things. It's greater than that. Yeah. Okay. So and it, I love this song because it's kind of like the song that made me get back in touch with my roots and mm. rediscover the music like this because we had a visiting musician in Beijing a couple of years ago. He was from Lebanon. And poor guy, he assumed I knew all the lyrics to this song. So he had a show in a club and invited me to join and play with him without telling me he was going to play this song and that he did not know the words himself. <laughs> <laughs> so here we are up on stage mm -hmm. with an audience that paid to watch the show. Okay, you're welcome to, to join along. So, and we were both stuck. Okay. Like, we all knew the chorus, Ya Baba. Ya Baba. <laughs> <laughs> but we did not know the rest of the song. <laughs> okay, just like, uh, Ya Baba. Is yeah, Baba. Right? Yeah, Baba. So okay. let's try it before I get on the drum. Okay. Allah, Allah, Ya yeah, Baba, Slam Alik, Ya Baba. Allah, Allah, Ya yeah, Baba, Slam Alik, Ya Baba. Sidi Mansur, Ya Baba. Unji Kanzur, Ya Baba. Allah, Allah, Ya Baba, Slam Alik, Ya Baba. There we go. See, it's easy. Yeah. You already speak Arabic now. I feel like I'm asking when the dinner is served, but yeah, we're just... <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see how it works. Okay. Oh, so sure. you'll, you'll feel it when it's time for you to say Ya Baba with me. Mm -hmm. And please clap along because it, 
It's like mm. lively. It's uh, we've just had a full belly of African food. There's a campfire, and we're kind of getting cold, and we start clapping to mm. have some fun. Okay. okay. What's I going to play with it? Uh, for this one, I will actually use uh, a cajon, which, which is? is a cajon is basically a wooden box that acts as a percussion. It's as basic as percussion instruments go. Now, basically, percussion is banging on something. Mm -hmm. And for me, this, the cajon is the instrument, even though it didn't really come from Africa, it was started in South America from people that could not afford to buy drums, and they started banging on wood. It captures the essence of tribal music and roots music. You can take a cajon and play any style with it. I mean, I've played metal with this baby, North African music, jazz, country, and also African music from the South, because you know that's instrumental, like you exactly. banging on the wooden things. So uh, they're fantastic. Let's go, then. Let's, Let's go. heat it. Mm. Oh, you can sit on it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and ah, this one is be. actually quite fancy because I have attachments. Oh. You have snares, you have everything. All right, you guys ready to do this? Yeah. What is the chorus? What are you supposed to sing? Yeah, Baba. Ba -ba. Okay. You sure you're not taking advantage of us? <laughs> agreed to sing in African style. And yeah. uh, you said that you've heard a song from China, a priest, a noodle with lamb. Yes. And uh, presumably you also travel far south in China also to uh, the south provinces as well. To quite and, a few places. And now I understand music is the, the language of God, so it's been said. And uh, music powers imagination and creation and creativity. And, uh, you really don't have to know this person or to know the language he said or she says in order to understand why he is playing or she is playing music. So do you think you can use that instrument to do a demo about Chinese music? Is that a possible? A demo about Chinese music. Mm -hmm. We can try, I mean, uh, we were discussing this earlier and there's a lot of similarities in some of the music, especially from Yunnan and Northern African rhythms. Mm -hmm. uh, really hypnotic rhythms where you can keep playing the same beat and people just kind of start grooving with it, uh, like the Dong minority style. Mm -hmm. I would be afraid I would crucify those songs if I tried them <laughs> on this particular instrument. They'd work better on other instruments, uh, but uh, it can be used for something like a Tibetan song also, um, so it's like... Just give us a, a feeling, a rhythm, a beat. We don't need to have to sing. Okay. We can leave that a little bit later. We can have plans for other people too. Are we supposed to be listening to something? <laughs> you know, man, you creep me out a little bit. 
It's basically the heartbeat, if the heart of a drum. So it's a soul music, is this like a... No, this is the essence of percussion. Most people learn percussion based on their... So from listening to their own heartbeat. Their ha own heartbeat. And the faster you drum, the faster your heart beats, the faster mm -hmm. your blood flows. Just like when you're dancing, the faster you dance, mm -hmm. the faster the blood flows, the mm -hmm. more you get in tune with it. It's, uh, Does that still chime with you in a, the perception about African music? Do you still think it's just energetic or... or, or uh, hmm. does, does that give you any other new thoughts about it? Well, I think... It is much more mystery now. Mystery, mysterious. Yeah, mystery. Yeah. No, not misery, right? No, it's mysterious. <laughs> <laughs> it's mystery about misery in some cases. <laughs> because the songs and the rhythms translate real life into it. So when you're sad, you write a sad song. When you're happy, you write a happy song. Mm -hmm. And sometimes even when you're sad, you have a happy song to make you happy mm -hmm. and, get, and do other things. So it depends on the instrument. Uh, the music he was talking about from Mali yeah. and the Tuareg nation, mm -hmm. their music is from the Sahara. Cold and mysterious and relaxed and it's like hypnotic beats that can go on for hours and hours. Because I like this idea of music being profound, being mysterious and sometimes about our miseries. Of course, it's an expression of human feelings, but Nowadays, especially for, for young people, I'm not saying that the young people stop appreciating classical music or profound music, but it looks like when we, you know, after a whole day of hard work, we just like to grab a, a, a cup of beer, a bottle of a beer, and listen to something simple. Right? But do you think that's, a, that's, that's good? Uh, well, that's how the music develops. It's like uh, when you are like suffering a hard time you use that kind of I like that word suffering a hard time uh, yeah. suffering a hard time you you, uh, you use that strong and uh, like uh, insp inspiring mm -hmm. uh, music to cheer you up but nowadays uh, when it's a hard uh, fast pace of life uh, you you just need to chill so what if I ask you to name one alcohol to go with your music what what, what would be your answer uh, white uh, wine or beer or maybe uh, Chinese baijiu. <laughs> what is the perfect match between your music and and and, and, and the kind of alcohol? Mm, well, it's not that strong. Maybe not that strong. <laughs> beer. Beer. Yeah. Okay. Which style of music would go with beer? Uh, like those uh, jazz and fusion, uh, mm. something uh, like modern and uh, light toned. They say that jazz is is a it's a it's a jazz is actually the mysterious. Like you feel like you would, while you're listening to it, you feel this you were exploring a secret garden, uh, where there is a very long but curving lane. It never ends. Whenever you thought it's going to end, it just starts again. And uh, but interestingly, so many people love jazz in China. But whenever I go to a karaoke house. Mm -hmm. And they always a list of the most popular songs on it that people often sing there. I cannot find a single jazz there. Do you think karaoke is, is ruining is ruining profound music, Monty? Not really, I must say. You have do you have the have you been to the karaoke house here in China? Definitely, I have been to one. Mm -hmm. uh, it was really amazing. I tried to sing here and there. It was it was okay. It was amazing, I must say. Mm -hmm. Yes, and uh, talking of karaoke, I feel um, it's really an amazing way of releasing, like the way he said, if you're trying to like just calm after a long day, you want to relax and just relax yourself, um, karaoke is really an amazing way. Would you dance in a karaoke house? Mm -hmm. Yes, you would. Mm -hmm. It depends on the way you're singing and the beat, you mm -hmm. definitely dance to it. Mm -hmm. And do you know the purpose of me asking that question? <laughs> that was a leading question no. coming nice. I didn't see that one. <laughs> I didn't see that one. Where are you from? Zambia, right? Yes, I and, am. Uh, and uh, that's a country famous for its own dance style. And uh, you have a lot of Chinese uh, sorry, classmates as well. Definitely. They must be curious about that culture. When they, when they cheat you into going to a karaoke house, they must have some secret ulterior motive behind that. Don't tell me they haven't asked you to dance for them even once. <laughs> to they, they, they have, they have actually, yeah. they have. And um, 
it was okay. <laughs> and I heard that you, in Peking University, you are pretty active as well. <laughs> I try. Um, I'm actually part of the Peking University African Association Dance Group, and um, we act I actually participated for the Peking University 120 anniversary, and it was really amazing because we got to interact and exchange cultures with Chinese people and mm -hmm. African people, which was really amazing. I got to learn a lot, and I got to understand the Chinese culture more, which was really an amazing experience for I'm me. I'm not suggesting this restaurant is going to be in any way to be similar to a huge stadium or a huge stage in Peking University. But like you said, we do have a, a pair of uh, friends from Africa and a pair of Chinese guests. <laughs> I think in one way we can mimic that stage from the Peking University. Definitely. And I believe you a perfect teacher. It definitely. Okay, so yes. do you mind showing us in a few movements? Sure, 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 sure. I think Bad will have yeah, to Can you uh, explain it a bit before we join in you? Uh, what, is it, what is it? What it means? The, the thing that it means? Yeah, you can. <laughs> we'll give you the center, central stage. Sure, sure. Because uh, Baido has already had it, and now it's all yours. <laughs> OK. Yeah. OK, definitely the dances that I'm going to do are diverse. It's not just specifically Zambian. Um, I believe I'm African. I, believe I'm, I belong to each and every country. Okay. I'm African. So I'm going to do different dance moves. That's from Zambia, from Ghana, from Nigeria, and uh, hoping to have a good time while dancing. Some from North Africa? Mm. Yes, definitely. Mm -hmm. So give us something. <laughs> Real, really hard to, yes. to frighten us first. Definitely. And then pick something very, very simple and basic to teach. I think you also need the hard stuff so that when you come to Africa, you should be Great. I will, I will give you the same. Yes. <laughs> OK, so okay. beats mm -hmm. uh, slow or fast? Some fast beat because African dancers are energetic. <laughs> <laughs> this is a perfect time for you to win as energetic. I'm sure most of us have okay, learned I'm the not, I'm not dressing this for no, no reason, you know? <laughs> so Ready we are going it, to do different you? dances. So because I'm the moderator, I'm the host <laughs> of the show, I'm not going to take your job as the owner of the restaurant, but I'm just the host of the show. But that kind of gives me the power to choose the first student for you. I'm not going to put my, first, to my, my stupid movement on the line first. So, okay, so pick your student. Oh. Okay. I'm a terrible person. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So we are going to do different dances. That's from Africa. First of all, we are going to start with a Zambian dance. It's called Chumwemwe dance. So how you are going to move with it is you'll be moving one, two, ba. one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Then after that, you are going to take this hand. This side, this side, this side, this side, like this. Very good. And then after that, you're going to do a zonto. Okay, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a helper. Let me take this away <laughs> for you, okay? Thank you. So that you could have a larger space. Definitely. So after that, we're going to do a zonto. A zonto. Yes. Yes, yes a zonto. Then again, a zonto. You know, I begin to think, because, I mean, the ladies, the women, they tend to have a better kind of coordinated body. <laughs> and uh, sometimes it's hard for a guy to do the gentle and the softer move. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's what I want to see. Yes. Oh. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Your turn, sir. Your turn. So after that, we are still going through the same dances. So yeah. the first one is one, two. Where's your hand, man? One. Two, like that. Then we're going to take our hands this side. One, two, three, four, five. Then after that, we're going to do a zonto. Yes, a zonto like that. Yes, very good. <laughs> then we're going to come down. 
This is a typical African oh dance. God. We come down. We come down, lower, yeah, lower, lower. It's good for your knees. Yes, it's good for your knees, lower, very good. I told you, you before dance. the show, you're going to regret wearing we jeans. Come uh. up. We come up. Mm -hmm. Yes, very good. Then again, we come lower, lower, very good. Yes. Okay, so this is a string of movements, right? Definitely. So what does it say? Actually, it doesn't really have a specific meaning. Mm -hmm. It's just a way of expressing ourselves because these are dancers that we normally dance maybe on weddings, mm -hmm. on functions. When you go to a function, an African function, you find most of these dances actually being danced. So as long as you are happy, this is what you do. Definitely. Are you happy? Yes. <laughs> yes. Be careful with that. <laughs> okay, let's give it one more try. Just show us the movement one more time, so that then you can exam. You can give them an exam. Exactly. Okay. That's what I'm. So one more time. Look carefully. Exactly. So one more time is Chimamwe dance. We are moving one, two. But one, can we have a little two. bit better to to help oh, them out? The yes. Exactly. So again, we start this hand, yes, this hand again, yes, this hand, this hand, this hand, this hand, and this hand, then azonto, azonto, very Energetic. good. Energetic, <laughs> Azonto, after that, you are going to do the going down. This is typical, you really have to do it with energy, power, exactly. I really can tell that's, that's from Chelsea and Mongolia. Right? <laughs> uh, again, very good. So now you can do it with the rhythm, we do it fast. We'll do it fast exactly. now? Exactly. We're ready yeah, for it? Okay, you want to speed it up? Yes. Okay. That was just like a demo. I want them to, to, to get some, some tissues, I just see what feels exactly. better. Exactly. Okay. No, All right. Right. That was just the tutorial. Okay. <laughs> Brave. 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 <laughs> yeah. There's only going to be a small test at the end. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. We're ready. Back, it, back mm -hmm. to university again. Okay. Fast. Fast. <laughs> I have to ask you to give the central stage to uh, young talents here. Mm. Do you out of breath? Are you out of breath already? <laughs> <laughs> do you prefer to do it together or do it one by one? Together. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so you don't want to be shamed before the camera <laughs> <laughs> individually. Okay, that's understandable. Do you mm. want to start with uh, a slow beat or actually you want to do it at the exactly same rate? Mm. You can have it work it out. Take your time, no worries. <laughs> ladies' yeah. choice, I'd say. Yeah, ladies' choice. <laughs> Slow? Oh, no problem. Of course. Slow. Uh, please give us uh, instructions when to move to the next move. Definitely. <laughs> 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 okay. well, wait a minute, is that cheating? <laughs> you can't ask me, you, 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 your supervisor to give you the answer. Before the exam. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go and let's get a bit, a bit easier like on you. It's like an open book exam. <laughs> it is. Yeah. Yeah. So you have the book, you have to find the answer. She's there for guidance. Right? <laughs> sure. Well, that's smart, that's smart. I, I give in, I give mm -hmm. in. Okay. So? The first dance. Ready? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. One more dance. Yes. Arms, arms, arms. arms. Yes. Are you swimming? Yes. <laughs> Actually, you're feeling in the darkness. <laughs> As on top. Yes. As on top. You're saying hello to someone. <laughs> Now you must have dropped something on the floor. <laughs> You're trying to fill it in. Very good, yes. <laughs> okay, 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 not scoring, grading, grading. Grading, they were all amazing, they were all awesome. I really like the way they danced. I'm impressed. For you the call, first you time. call that dance? <laughs> yes, that was dancing. That's a success, that is a success. That was a success. Okay. <laughs> so, what do you need to do in order to be a better dancer in Afghanistan? Because maybe one day they'll come useful. 
Definitely. Actually, it needs more practice mm -hmm. because you can't just learn in one day. Of course, Rome was not built in a day. Mm -hmm. You have to practice nearly every day for you to really become good. You have to work out. It takes going to the gym or doing workouts so that your muscles are actually more energetic. No wonder they are energetic dancers, but it was good. Our gentleman there is out of his breath. He's breathing <laughs> happily. I need more work. We did more work. I'm sorry, we didn't warn you people. I mean, it's going to be physically demanding today. Okay, so which, which is the key part of in African dance? What is on your, on your body? Because it looks like everybody have, uh, I'm sorry, every part in your body has to be very flexible mm -hmm. kind of in order to because if you want to express your feeling, you don't want any limitation, you don't want any restriction. Mm -hmm. That means that your body has to be very coordinated, very flexible. But which is the key part? Actually, that depends on different parts of Africa. Mm -hmm. Like for my country, we do different dances, but mostly we focus on the West. Mm -hmm. And then I've also noticed where most other countries would focus on arms, legs, and in total, I'll just say the whole body has to be flexible and you have to work with it. Uh, that's a lot way ahead of you guys. Exactly. Okay, so energetic, anything else new you want to share with us? Well, sweat. Sweat. Wait our tissue, please. <laughs> yeah, dancing is a good workout, actually. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of modern day workouts are based on dance movements to get people moving in fun. Mm -hmm. yes. Not just going and punching a bag or doing abs. Like, Jams like Jinda Fit and uh, exactly. Zumba. Uh, Zumba, and there's a lot of mm. uh, new workouts based on dance, and a lot of them actually mm. technically come from Africa. So, um, young lady, I would ask you to have a rest now that you already sweat. But, um, <laughs> so, well, your performance, uh, well, as much as your lectures is praised to you as a very excellent, as a very good, I'm afraid I have to say that you still have a you know, a little bit to catch up with the, with the lady. But, but I don't know if it's going to be in a punishment or actually in a reward, because I know by the way you have a, you're having a perfect collection of interesting instruments. Yeah. And uh, our gentleman here, he has in a band. He played in a band. He knows how to play ba uh, bass, guitar, and a saxophone. That just gives me an interesting idea. <laughs> Uh oh, there must be something. Should I be scared? Yeah, in your class. Or should he be scared? <laughs> I'm scared. Uh, let's, find, let's find out. Do you have anything for him, actually? Actually, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, we've got my, this lovely little baby here. Oh, so you can, you can have a rest on it. So, this is called a Gembri. This is the quintessential North African and especially Moroccan instrument that we use a lot in what's called Gnawa music. Um, and it's basically the ancestor of the bass, so for any bass player, it should feel very natural. It's right to you straight. Yeah, and the peculiarity of it is that it can also be used as a drum. So oh. for the gentleman mentioned slab bass, here is the slap is here so in a lot of the traditional songs you get this one instrument that can do both so you can start it's a drum and so you could have your own band you can be a one-man band with this mm. but usually you need at least a three-piece section you need a rhythm section and a lead because mm -hmm. uh for the style of music played with the gembri, traditionally, it's very hypnotic music, so you would play the same notes for three hours and you don't get tired. Oh. You just keep playing the same notes, so. Now you're scared, right? <laughs> <laughs> so this is a D, this is a D, this is a G. And this would be a D as well. And the way it's played is just with this finger. Only this finger, so. You keep the rest of the hand to actually hit it if you want to create a little slap sound. So you kind of go. And this one is just a drone. You want to try? Really? Yeah. It, there can only be one answer. Yeah, yeah. So, and this is a beautiful baby that I had made from a master craftsman. That's a warning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be careful with Be careful. it. Yeah. I've never met a bass player that could not feel it. Just with Are one you finger. playing uh, one. Carmen? 
One. Yeah. It's a lot about that down, right? Never fret here. Always up. Yeah. Maybe I, can, I, can, I can help a little bit. Just uh, keep playing, keep playing. I'll give it, I'll give it a microphone here. I'm not trying this slap that because it's really hard, but I, I can I can like try to I'm not proposing so don't worry. <laughs> you want me to bring your ring? Thank you, that would be lovely. In this music, never. <laughs> He's being creative, right? Yeah. Ooh, that's blues. They say it's what we call Gnawa blues. It's blues is almost derived from this style. It's that very wow. low, low, low music bass notes that drive the blues. Mm -hmm. Think like the essential of the blues for a guitar player is on an E string. It's like, and even metal is basically that blues progression. Uh, faster. You can do it with this. Oh. There you go. Pass the test? Yes, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> Thank absolutely, you. Absolutely, absolutely. Oh, Give him a hand. Uh, this, this one is amazing. I've never tried this before. It's. Uh, I don't think I've seen another one running around China. I've had to get this one custom made, so it's a little bit more modern. It's got pegs, mm -hmm. and I've also had it pick the kind of wood I wanted, and have built-in pickups so I can actually plug it in. Mm. Wow, that's cool. Thank so you. Let's 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 put it out that, that treasures. Yeah, back to yeah. the old. Yeah, be careful with it. Be careful with it. We have a very limited thank budget. You, thank you. Yeah. So, thank you, thank you. Okay. So um, now we've played African music, and then we've learned African dance. I start to feel that the Chinese element in this live stream is a little bit kind of outshone, outshone by the African element, and I cannot have that. Okay. Where I have to make it a balance. So toward the end of this live stream. As I said at the beginning of this, uh, I have a secret plan for a lady here. Mandy, I hope you've already had enough rest. Definitely. Okay, so we've all witnessed this, all the viewers sitting in front of uh, uh, their, 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 their laptops or watching this with the CGTN. They've already found that your secret is that you're a perfect dancer. And uh, now you're living in China in Peking University and also you in the association, association. So I would have to assume that you've learned a few about Chinese dance. Yes, I have learned a few and um, it was interesting. Okay, so <laughs> I'm going to take my phone and uh, ask you to step onto the center of the stage. <laughs> and I'm going to play you some traditional Chinese music okay. with my phone. And in the meantime, I'm going to tell our viewers, I mean, this is a live with the CGTN, and if you want to uh, ask any questions about African culture or Chinese culture, please leave your comment in the comment section of Facebook, or Twitter, or a microblog, or, uh, or YouTube, as well as on applications. And today our subject matter, as you're going to find out, is going to be about the, a mixture of Chinese and African dancing and the music culture. And I like this music. I'll give you a little bit of taste. <laughs> give it a minute because uh, I mean, the, the beat is pretty long and we can still have a few words before we uh, go offline with uh, Monty's beautiful dance. Just waiting until the lyrics coming in. Today, I'm joined by four wonderful guests to show you how lovely African dance culture and music culture is and how that's going to in fact impact our Chinese musicians and the budding talent in the future and also your brilliant demonstration of African music and your talent. Thank you so much for borrowing and for lending us your lovely restaurant. Thank and I, I think just like how brilliant your performance is, your food is also wonderful. Okay, I'll try to shorten my word by telling you that, yeah, the lyrics are about to hit in. Are you ready? Just uh, jumping in whenever you feel 
Right, and I will give you the last word from myself. If you like this series, if you like this program of CGTN's China Africa Youth Talks, don't go away. Stay tuned. Tomorrow we're going to have the last of the program, one of、uh, an episode about an interesting idea. And all I can say is that it has a lot of things to do with affection, with the feeling, and the strongest feeling in the world that a human being can possess. So if you're interested in that, join me in. I'm done.